This presentation is an introduction to least squares fitting. It's about how to determine the slope, y-intercept, and their standard errors mathematically. The term best fit line isn't well defined unless the data points all fit exactly on a line. Four data points at the corners of a square have several lines which might be considered the best fit. Choosing the least squares fit for data has certain mathematical advantages. Least squares fitting allows you to automate calculation of the slope and the y-intercept. The calculations require you to add up various quantities related to the data values. One quantity that shows up a lot is related to the standard deviation of the x values. The number of degrees of freedom for a fit is the number of data points minus the number of parameters being determined. The normal symbol used is the Greek letter nu. The correlation coefficient indicates how well data fit the line. R is minus 1 for points which fit exactly on a line with a negative slope. R is 1 for points which fit exactly on a line with positive slope. R is 0 if there is no correlation at all. R squared is used commonly because it gets closer to 1 the closer the points fit to a line. Here are some sample data with their approximate r-squared values. The sum of squares error, or SSE, is another indicator of how much difference there is between the data points and the line. This can be used to determine the standard deviation of the graph. The standard errors in the y-intercept and the slope can be calculated after the standard deviation. Here's an example of the calculations for some made-up data. The sums from the last line of the table are used for the calculations. n is the number of data points.
there are a few important points to remember.